Host desecration is a form of sacrilege in Christian denominations that follow the doctrine of real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. It involves the mistreatment or malicious use of a consecrated host—the sacred bread used in the Eucharistic service of the Divine Liturgy or Mass. It is forbidden by the Catholic and Eastern Orthodox churches, as well as in certain Protestant traditions including Anglicanism, Lutheranism, and Methodism. In Catholicism, where the host is held to have been transubstantiated into the body of Jesus Christ, host desecration is among the gravest of sins. Intentional host desecration is not only a mortal sin but also incurs the penalty of excommunication latae sententiae. Throughout history, a number of groups have been accused of desecrating the Eucharist, often with grave consequences due to the spiritual importance of the consecrated host. Overview. Accusations against Jews were a common reason given for massacres and expulsions throughout the Middle Ages in Europe. Similar accusations were made in witchcraft trials, which hunters guides such as the Malleus Maleficarum refer to hosts as being objects of desecration by witches. It is part of many descriptions of the Black Mass, both in ostensibly historical works and in fiction. Background In Christianity, within the Anglican Church, Catholic Church, Eastern Orthodox Church, Lutheran Church, Methodist Church, and Oriental Orthodox Church, during the celebration of the Eucharist, the offerings of bread and wine are changed or added to make the body and blood of Jesus by the action of God. The change affects the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist, a doctrine which has been believed from the earliest days of the Church. During the Middle Ages, Roman Catholic theology offered the concept of transubstantiation to explain this change of substance, which was believed to be actual and not merely symbolic. Transubstantiation, defined as a dogma at the Fourth Lateran Council of 1215, holds that the substances of the offerings are literally transformed, while the appearance of bread and wine remain. Many Christians believe Jesus to be true God and true man." In the Catholic Church, therefore, his "...body, blood, soul and divinity," in the form of the consecrated host are adored. Theft, sale, or use of the host for a profane purpose is considered a grave sin and sacrilege, which incurs the penalty of excommunication, which is imposed automatically in the Latin Rite see Code of Canon Law, Latin Rite Code Canon 1367, or Eastern Rite Code Canon 1442. Some denominations, especially Lutherans, have similar beliefs regarding the Eucharist and the Real Presence, though they reject the Roman Catholic concept of transubstantiation, preferring instead, the doctrine of the sacramental union, in which, "...the body and blood of Christ are so truly united to the bread and wine of the Holy Communion that the two may be identified. They are at the same time body and blood, bread and wine." less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 in this sacrament the lutheran christian receives the very body and blood of christ precisely for the strengthening of the union of faith both the eastern orthodox churches and the oriental orthodox churches such as the coptic church insist on the reality of the change from bread and wine into the body and the blood of christ at the consecration of the elements although they have never attempted to explain the manner of the change thus rejecting philosophical terms to describe it. The Methodist Church similarly holds that Christ is truly present in the Eucharist, "...through the elements of bread and wine", but maintains that how he is present is a holy mystery. Until the 19th century Oxford movement reintroduced the classic doctrine of the real presence Anglicanism favoured receptionism which is a theological doctrine according to which, while the bread and wine in the Eucharist continue to exist unchanged after consecration, the faithful communicant receives together with them the body and blood of Christ, the term itself seems not to have appeared before 1867. A more accurate description of the classic Anglican attitude is real receptionism. There is an outer reality which is bread and wine and an inner which is the body and blood of Christ in a sacramental manner. Whatever the doctrine selected, among Anglicans the consecrated bread and hosts are reserved and treated with great reverence. Host desecration has been associated with groups identified as inimical to Christianity. It is a common belief that desecration of the host is part of satanic practice, especially the Black Mass. Levian Satanists do not typically perform Black Mass as a regular ritual, though, La Messe Noir 
From Anton Lavi's work the Satanic Rituals does include some elements. Since the publication of a document called Memoriali Domini in 1969, the Apolistic See of the Catholic Church has allowed certain countries to allow communicants to receive the host in the hand, rather than directly onto the tongue, reviving an ancient custom. Communion in the hand is now widespread in many parts of the world. The practice means that access to consecrated hosts is easier than in the past, since the person receiving it in the hand may pretend to place it in their mouth for consumption. However, recent statements and practices of Pope Benedict XVI have caused a recent shift in Catholic practice notably at papal masses and amongst more traditional-minded Catholics of receiving on the tongue while kneeling, which is also an ancient practice. This practice was still performed commonly and consistently, even as recently as the early 1970s in America, and is still received orally in many churches and countries presently. Receiving on the tongue is still the official norm of the Catholic Church, while receiving in the hand via the Memoriali Domini Indult is, in English-speaking countries, the practical norm. <laughs> Medieval accusations against Jews Topic. Accusations of host desecration German leveled against Jews were a common pretext for massacres and expulsions throughout the Middle Ages in Europe. The libel of «Jewish deicide» that the Jewish people were responsible for the killing of Jesus, whom Christians regard as God become man, was a generally accepted Christian belief. It was spuriously claimed that Jews stole hosts objects to which they attached no significance, religious or otherwise, and further spuriously claimed that they abused these hosts to re-enact the crucifixion of Jesus by stabbing or burning them. It has been asserted by modern scholars, such as the Catholic priest Gavin Langmuir, that these accusations against Jews represented profound doubt about the truth of Christianity. Catholics were being told, in the transubstantiation doctrine, that they, by consuming the host, were eating human flesh and drinking human blood. To dispel their doubts about transubstantiation, Christians projected a system of belief onto Jews that was completely alien to Judaism and Jewish law where strict dietary laws forbid the consumption of blood, even when consuming kosher animals. Jews in the Middle Ages were frequently victims of similar accusations, considered more serious desecration of other revered items, such as relics or images of Jesus and the saints. The accusations were often supported only by the testimony of the accuser, who may potentially bear a prejudice against the accused Jew or the Jewish people. Despite this, some alleged perpetrators were tried and found guilty, on little evidence or through torture. The penalties for Jews accused of defiling hosts were severe. Many Jews, after accusations and torture, confessed to abusing hosts, and the accused Jews were condemned and burned, sometimes with all the other Jews in the community, as happened in Bielitz in 1247, in Prague in 1389, and in many German cities, according to Acker's writings in the Harvard Theological Review. According to William Nicoll in Christian Antisemitism, over 100 instances of the charge have been recorded, in many cases leading to massacres. As mentioned above, the first recorded accusation was made in 1247 at Bielitz, south of Potsdam. Tradition records that as a consequence the Jews of Bielitz were burned on a hill before the Mill Gate, which was subsequently, and until 1945, called the Judenberg, although there is no contemporary evidence for the burnings in documents of the 13th century. Another famous case that took place in 1290, in Paris, was commemorated in the Church of the Rue des Billets and in a local confraternity. The case of 1337, at Degendorf, celebrated locally as part of the Degendorfer Nad, until 1992, led to a series of massacres across the region. In 1370 in Brussels the charge of host desecration, long celebrated in a special fest and depicted in artistic relics in the Church of St. Gudul, led to the burning of 20 Jews and expulsion in the Brussels massacre. In 1510, at Knobloch in Havelland 38 Jews were executed and more expelled from Brandenburg. An alleged host desecration in 1410, at Segovia, was said to have brought about an earthquake. As a result, leading Jews in the city were executed and the local synagogue was seized and rededicated as the convent and church of Corpus Christi. Similar accusations, resulting in extensive persecution of Jews, were brought forward in 1294, at La, Austria, 1298, at Rottingen, near Würzburg, and at Kornuberg, near Vienna, 1299, at Ratisbon, 1306, at St. Polten, 1330, at Gustro. 
1338, at Polkow, 1388, at Prague, 1401, at Glogau, 1420, at Ems, 1453, at Breslau, 1478, at Passau, 1492, at Sternberg, in Mecklenburg, 1514, at Middleburg, in Alsace, 1556, at Sochizu, in Poland. The last Jew burned for stealing a host died in 1631, according to Jacques Basnage, quoting from Manasseh b. Israel. In some cases host desecration legends emerged without actual accusations, as was the case of the host desecration legend of Poznan The accusation of host desecration gradually ceased after the Reformation when first Martin Luther in 1523 and then Sigismund August of Poland in 1558 were among those who repudiated the accusation. However, sporadic instances of host desecration libel occurred even in the 18th and 19th century. In 1761 in Nancy, several Jews from Alsace were executed on a charge of host desecration. The last recorded accusation was brought up in Berlid, Romania, in 1836. 2008 controversy in the U.S. In his July 8 blog entry, University of Minnesota Morris biology professor Paul Zachary Myers criticized the reaction to a University of Central Florida student's perceived act of host desecration the student had attempted to bring the host to a friend who was curious about communion. Myers described the level of harassment against the student and expressed his intent to desecrate the wafer, which Catholics consider a mortal sin. Myers expressed outrage that Fox News appeared to be inciting viewers to cause further problems for the student, and ridiculed reports that armed guards would attend the next Mass. Myers suggested that if any of his readers could acquire some consecrated Eucharistic hosts for him, he would treat the wafers, "...with profound disrespect and heinous cracker abuse, all photographed and presented here on the web." A number of Catholics immediately reacted strongly. William A. Donahue of the Catholic League accused Myers of anti-Catholic bigotry, described his proposal as a threat to desecrate what Catholics hold to be the body of Christ, and sent a letter asking the University of Minnesota and the Minnesota State Legislature to take action against Myers. Myers pierced a host with a rusty nail, which he also used to pierce a few ripped-out pages of the Quran and the God Delusion, put them all in the trash along with old coffee grounds and a banana peel. He provided a photograph on his blog of these items in the garbage and wrote that nothing must be held sacred, encouraging people to question everything. In addition, he described the history of allegations of host desecration, emphasizing the frequent use of such allegations in medieval Europe to justify antisemitism. According to Donahue, as the Feringula website was accessible via a link from the University of Minnesota website, it should be bound by the institution's code of conduct, which requires faculty to be respectful, fair and civil", when dealing with others. Subsequently, Myers explained to the Star Tribune that while his post was, "...satire and protest", he had received death threats regarding the incident but was not taking them too seriously. The University of Minnesota, Morris um, Chancellor defended Myers, and stated, I believe that behaviors that discriminate against or harass individuals or groups on the basis of their religious beliefs are reprehensible and that the school "...affirms the freedom of a faculty member to speak or write as a public citizen without institutional discipline or restraint." <laughs> Al-Islam magazine in 2009, two Muslim reporters from Al Islam, a small Malaysian magazine, participated in a Catholic mass while undercover writing an article on cases of apostasy from Islam and received holy communion. The reporters afterwards spat out the host and photographed it to prove they had not apostatized themselves. The resulting photo was then published in their May 2009 edition. The magazine, which is owned by Utuzan Karia, part of the Utuzan Malaysia Group, sent its reporters, including MUHD Ridwan Abdul Jalil, to two churches in the Klang Valley, as part of a special investigative report. The act of desecration occurred at St. Anthony's Church in Jalan Robertson, Kuala Lumpur. After its publication, two lay Catholics from Penang, Sudagaran Stanley and Joachim Francis Xavier, jointly lodged a police report against the reporters. 
The police took no action despite a potential charge under Section 298A of the Penal Code for causing disharmony, disunity or feelings of enmity, hatred or ill will, or prejudicing the maintenance of harmony or unity, on grounds of religion. The desecration caused widespread outrage and condemnation from non Muslims as well as Muslims across the country. Parties including the Archbishop of Kuala Lumpur, Murphy Pakiam, the Catholic Lawyers' Society, as well as numerous editorials in the media, criticized the government and the Attorney General for its failure to act. Many saw this inaction as a case of the government's double standards, when dealing with religious issues. Some nine months later, in early March 2010, Al-Islam published an apology to the Catholic Church and other Christians for the article. It was posted on the website of its publisher. Archbishop Pakiam, who is also president of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Malaysia, Singapore and Brunei, accepted the apology and said that no further legal action would be taken. The journalist and his colleague have personally never made any public statements on the matter nor apologized. Topic desecration During a Black Mass topic A Black Mass is a satanic ritual designed to satirize or invert a traditional Catholic Mass. Consecrated hosts are a common ingredient in black masses, becoming the subject of desecration. The hosts must first be stolen from the tabernacle of a Catholic church, and or secreted away by people who are posing as parishioners taking communion. In 2014, the Dokma of Angra Mainu held a public black mass at the Oklahoma Civic Center and planned to include the desecration of a consecrated host, which was to be stomped on. That did not transpire, instead, the host was returned through an attorney after the archdiocese filed a lawsuit for its recovery. Topic see also topic Cake of light Sefer Harazim blood libel against Jews Eucharist Real presence of Christ in the Eucharist Transubstantiation Black Mass topic References topic Notes Bibliography Langmuir, Gavin I. 1990 History, Religion, and Antisemitism, Berkeley, California, University of California Press. ISBN 9781850432906 Ocker, Christopher April 1998. Ritual Murder and the Subjectivity of Christ, A Choice in Medieval Christianity Harvard Theological Review, v.91, n.2, pp. 153–192 Further reading Agosin, Marjorie and Sepulveda, Emma 2001, Amigas, Letters of Friendship and Exile. Austin. Jacobs, Joseph, Schlossinger, Max 1901 Host, Desecration of. In Singer, Isidore, et al. Jewish Encyclopedia. New York, Funk and Wagnalls Company. Langmuir, Gavin I. 1990 Toward a Definition of Antisemitism. Berkeley, California, University of California Press. ISBN 9780520061446 Marcus, Jacob Rader The Jew in the Medieval World, a source book, 315-1791, Athenaeum. pp. 155–58 Asterisk asterisk primary source in respect of the Christian atrocities against the Jewish community living in Passau, Bavaria, in 1478. Roth, Cecil 1997 Host, Desecration of. Encyclopedia Judaica CD-ROM edition version 1.0. Ed. Cecil Roth. Ketter Publishing House. ISBN 965-07-0665-8 Rubin, Miri Gentile Tales, The Narrative Assault on Late Medieval Jews. New Haven, Connecticut, Yale University Press. ISBN 9780300076127 Stowe, Kenneth Jewish Dogs, and Imagine and Its Interpreters, Continuity in the Catholic Jewish Encounter. Stanford, Stanford University Press. ISBN 0-8047-5281-8 Trachtenberg, Joshua The Devil and the Jews, The Medieval Conception of the Jew and Its Relation to Modern Antisemitism. New Haven, Connecticut, Yale University Press. Weiss, John Ideology of Death Ivan R. D., ISBN 1-56663-088-6 Wistrich, Robert S. Antisemitism, The Longest Hatred. London, Mandarin. ISBN 9780749310962 External links Topic Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Sacrilege. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton.
Professor John Clyer's review of Miri Rubin, Gentile Tales, The Narrative Assault on Late Medieval Jews Discussion of Host Desecration Accusations in Poland by Magda Teter. See also the video on that site.